Everyone left. I'd like to call the meeting to order. I'll have order, people. No? Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'm in on that. It is. Mr. Luce is the bacon aficionado. Yeah. All right. So uh, not much to go through here, but we will go through, and there are a couple important things to discuss. We'll skip the pledge because we did it. Board member announcements. Uh, I will say that we had a perfect day for graduation, and both graduations ceremonies were excellent. And uh, it's one of the fun things that we get to do uh, is shake everyone's hand who, uh, who graduates our schools. Uh, echo the fact that graduation was beautiful. I'd like to thank uh, the weather for cooperating. Um, but I do want to actually bring up something about graduation that I'd like for the board to discuss. Um, maybe not today, and it may not even be a board of education discussion because it may be out of our purview. But I'd like to bring it up anyway, and that is the segregation of students at our um, graduation ceremonies by their academic ability. Yeah. And it was very... Um, I, I don't know what the word is, but I didn't, I didn't like it. And I, I think that all of our students who graduate from our two high schools have earned, the, um, uh, earned their diploma and have earned the right to say that they are a graduate of the East Meadow School System. And it shouldn't matter um, about what their academic standing is at that point at the graduation. They've all earned that right. And by putting kids on one side who very obviously won every award, and by putting kids on the other side who just sort of squeaked by or made it look that way, regardless of whether or not that's true, I thought that that was doing a disservice to the kids. So I'd like to see an integration of the kids next year where it's just like an alphabetical order or however else they're going to arrange it where we don't put kids who are in the honor society on one side and kids who are not on the other side. That's all. I, you know, um, it, thank you very much, Dr. Eckers. It's definitely something that I noticed last year um, and kind of slipped by the wayside in terms of having that conversation. Um, what's interesting, though, is that the same thing happens at Clark. However, it is not as noticeable because the number of kids who are in honor society and the kids who have cords, it's smaller. Right. And so I think that the, the N number of kids who have those awards have grown at East Meadow High School to the point where one side of the graduating seniors is nothing but kids in the honor society and kids who have cords. I think you're right, it's time for us to revisit that and integrate students. I think one of the most stark realizations of that is when we started giving out the diplomas to the kids on the right-hand side, mm -hmm. it was evident that they had internalized that whole process because their demeanor was very different from the kids who were sitting on the left-hand side. I don't know if you guys noticed that. In their gait, the way they came up and accepted their diplomas, the one kid who was like, <laughs> eh, he, almost, he, he was, he was he, FaceTiming. He was FaceTiming. He forgot but to get his diploma. diploma. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. I don't think anything's correcting that. <laughs> so we will have that conversation with um, both Mr. Howard and Mr. Volz. Thank you for bringing that up. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Eckers. Any other board member announcements? I would like to welcome Dr. Luce and Ms. Benowitz to your first actual board meeting outside of reorganization. Welcome. welcome. More to come and more fun. Uh, and if there's no others, uh, I turn it over to the superintendent for his announcements. Um, I have no announcements okay. because I think at this point I have exhausted my word count, according to Dr. Casamento. I get paid per word, and I think that I'll cut it. We've yeah. hit our budgetary it is the limit. Of the budget year, though. <laughs> Thank you. So, so I want to, you know, I, I want to pace myself. Okay. We're literally the first day of the budget year. All right. Uh, any pub oh, second. Uh, second day. Any public commentary? Okay. Uh, next is the board retreat. So uh, let's just Dr. Luce and Ms. Benowitz. Uh, we do a board retreat. We try to do at least one a year. Um, we had thrown out some dates, but now we will re-throw out some dates since we have some new people uh, to figure out when we can should do that. 
Very good. Um, I've written down August 17th or August 24th. So let's start with August 17th or August 24th. For the new members on the board, just as an FYI, the board retreat usually lasts about three hours. We conduct it here. Um, we either start at 10 o'clock in the morning, we have some lunch, we get a uh, facilitator from the New York State School Board who comes in and works with us based on the items that we identify as retreat priorities. There we go. Um, I will be the second true last day of camp is the 17th. Okay. I'm coming home the 18th. So the 24th would be preferable for me. If the 24th works. Uh, I mean, I can't guarantee that my wife won't be giving birth to it. Oh, right. Without right, these right. excuses, Dr. Rutgers. <laughs> but that's when you officially become the papa, so. <laughs> so if, if the 24th might be a little bit tight, we could also look at 28th. the 7th. Well, you I would like to stay away from the 28th because the 28th is actually, what is the 28th? No, the 28th is a Wednesday. September oh, the 28th 7th. is a Wednesday. 31st is okay. a Saturday. That's a yeah, Labor but Day that's weekend. Labor Day weekend. Uh, what, what, are we what about, about August 10th? We're Se September 7th. I won't about. be here. September. So wait, what's September 7th? September 7th is a work day for me. It's one Saturday I work. It's the one Saturday I can't make either. So let's so. do the 7th. The seventh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. So how's the twenty fourth? Of what month? Of, of, of August. Well, the only issue is contingent upon contingent yeah. upon a baby. Right. Yes. It's her first baby. She's not going to be having a baby by then. Um, I will. Approximate time frame. Yeah. Just an yeah. approximate time. Ten a.m. Until about one. Okay. Yep. Okay. Ten to one. 10 to I, I, 1 on August 24th. I want it to be noted that once we start at 10 a.m., no one is ever allowed to leave the building in case anything happens and a phone call comes or anything like that. <laughs> what, this is what day? I'm August 24th, Saturday. It's a Saturday? It's a Saturday. Yeah. Any chance we could start afternoon? Um, if everyone is okay, we could start at 12. I have plans later on. 11. Stop. Uh, if we need to. 11 a.m. No, if it's not after 12, it makes no difference to me. Oh, oh okay. So does it help to start You're earlier? You're going to be able to come? It's, it's Shabbat. So oh, it's, okay. It's a, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I'll... Okay. okay, so what if we look at another date? Uh, the 25th is a Sunday. I am fine with the 25th. If everyone is fine with the 25th. I can do the 25th. 10 to 1. That's fine with me. The 25th. August 25th, 10 to 1. Oh, Jen's going to kill me. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to plan for August 25th from 10 to 1, going once. So we're good. Okay. Does okay. anyone have a babysitter? <laughs> no. Okay. We'll work on that. All right. <laughs> All right. So that is the board retreat. Next is the John Boyle Memorial Ceremony, uh, which was in our updates. Uh, you want to go ahead? The memorial is set for September 14th. It will happen at halftime. It should begin at um, 3 o'clock. It should last for about 20 minutes. Um, there will be invitations sent to the board and central administration. Um, I don't think we have any speaking responsibilities. Um, Bob Gorman, I think, will head the, the mm -hmm. procession. Um, the board has already accepted the gift of the RAM. I think it was accepted back in May. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, um, it's undecided whether or not it will be held on the Clark Field or at the Campo Center Field. Campo Center Field is all dependent upon whether or not bleachers and South concession South stands are in place. Are you referring to South Bay Field? I thought that's what you meant. What did I say? Campo. I don't know, but you meant South Bay. You guys are confusing me. I help. Um, okay, the Salisbury okay, Center is then better. corrected. Yeah, that's good. So, uh, more information to come. This is just an FYI. Unless there are any objections, I will go ahead and give Christy Detour direction in terms of notifying the organizers that they can proceed. Excellent. And let's all vote for no rain that day. Very good. Okay. Um, very good. Okay. 
Next is the consent agenda for per personnel. Would someone like to make a motion to approve personnel agenda items E1 through 9? Dr. Eckers, second. Ms. Napolitano, any discussion? All in favor? 7 nothing. Uh, next is the business consent agenda. Would someone like to make a motion to approve business items F1 through 5? The who? Dr. Luce, second. Ms. Baruch, any discussion? All in favor? Seven nothing. Now uh, the second cup. Okay. Oh please. Uh, are there any other uh, closing comments by board members? I have a quick one. Please. I'd just like to say that I'm very very excited about this coming school year. I'd like to uh, welcome our two new members and uh, think we'll we are off to a great start and. Uh, I'm just very excited about the direction that our school district has come in these past several years. Um, you know, I remember being elected five years ago to the board. It was a very different situation we were in. Um, and, and with the effort of a lot of very involved community members, uh, a lot of whom are sitting at this table, we have completely changed the direction of this school district. And I'd like to just congratulate the whole community and especially these people on that. So here's to a great year and the continuation of our excellent progress as a school community. Excellent. Thank you, Dr. Eckers. And I just want to uh, thank everybody for being wonderful and welcoming and um, so helpful to Ms. Benowitz and to me. So thank you. And with that, would someone like to make a motion to adjourn? Dr. Luce, second. <laughs> Ms. Benowitz, excellent. All in favor? In the books. In the books. Thank you all. An hour and